Hello, I'm Ajit Sektri. Welcome to the Burning Saints YouTube channel. First of all, I would like to thank each and every one of you for your constant support and for sharing this word, this gospel, which will set each and every one of us free. Thank you so much for your support. All right, today I'm going to share with you something which <laughs> happened with me a few weeks back. I was just having a conversation with my parents and it seems like things were going kind of messy. So, yeah. <laughs> All right. So what happened was my sister was like kind of not following what my mom was saying to her. And and at the end what happened was my sister started arguing with my mom and my mom also responded in the same way. And she was like my mom wasn't able to handle that and she was like kind of angry and she didn't speak with her at all for a while <laughs> yeah so after that she called me and she told me okay this and all these things are happening and your sister is behaving like that and your sister is doing this and that and that and not following me what I'm saying yeah all these things were happening so what should I do like I don't know what to do like I'm really fed up of her I ask her to do this but she doesn't do that I ask her to do th that but instead she does something else so yeah it was quite embarrassing for her like because all these things were messed up so I told her as I was talking with my mom and as I was listening to her I told my mom that why don't, why don't you be like Jesus yeah why don't you be like Jesus I told her instead of where you are right now if jesus would be in that place and when you when like when my sister is going wild and she isn't following up to what jesus is also saying to her in fact what how would jesus respond to that would jesus slap her would jesus scold her would jesus do something like punish her because she is disobeying and disobeying what would jesus do and just as what Jesus does, you also need to do the same. Look at Jesus, how he walked in love and in grace. Yeah. Right. And, and, and there was a funny thing that my mom told me. How can I be like Jesus? Jesus is completely different. Don't compare Jesus with me. We are completely different. Jesus is God and I am just a normal human being. But I say to her, no, 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 that's not the truth. You are completely like Jesus. Yeah, you are completely like Jesus. Do you know? I responded her to her saying that, Do you know Jesus, when he came here on earth, he was fully God and fully man. But during his ministry and during his life on earth, he never used the authority and the power of being the God. Although he was God, he never used the authority and the power of being the God. Everything that he did, he did just like a normal, mere human being. And he did miracles, he responded to the sinners, he, 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 had, he did deliverance from the sickness, from the, from the possessed demons, and all those, he was very graceful with everyone. And all these things happened because of his relationship with God through the Holy Spirit that, that was in him. So Jesus, all the miracles, all the things that Jesus has done, he did like a completely mere human being. And if that is possible with Jesus, it is possible with you as well. Because the same Spirit which was in Jesus lives in you right now. You can also be a graceful person. You can also give grace no matter how much, uh, like in our example, no matter how much like your daughter, like my sister would disobey you or I in fact might disobey you. You can be like Jesus. You can be graceful, full of grace and full of love. Right? So I told her that and she was like wondering, okay. <laughs> So yeah, this is something that I want to share with you. If you are dealing with people who are really hard to deal with and like 
it's very difficult for you to manage those kind of people who are there around you it may be your children who are who disobey with you every time who never follows up what you are saying it may be with with your colleagues from your office or maybe your superior or maybe your subordinates with whom you work they never follow up to what you are saying and they are every time they are offending you and offending you every time and you are you are getting all those hurt and things are happening crazy in your life I would encourage you to be like Jesus how would Jesus respond in that situation this is my this is my testimony every day in every situation I ask Lord Jesus who are you for me right now what are you trying to show me over here help me to see like you see help me to feel like you feel help me to be like you this is my my call and my prayer every every second every moment so even if you have you are having a tough time with someone who is offending you every time i want you to be like jesus full of grace love and truth and as you release grace and mercy over that person i believe that holy spirit will change things and things will shift in his life we see in romans chapter 2 it says that it's the goodness of god that leads us into repentance right and how can the goodness of god be expressed on earth it's through you and i we are the representation we are the representator yeah i believe i've got it right yeah representator we are the representator of the goodness of God Jesus represented the father and right now we represent him because Jesus lives in us therefore we represent who God is and if someone who is offending me every time if I'm in uh, I'm responding to that offense in the same way I'm not releasing grace. I'm I'm not releasing the goodness of God over there. But if someone is offending me and if I release grace and mercy and I would say like never mind it's okay I forgive him. And I will still love him regardless of how much he's offending me. If I show grace and mercy and I would pray for him every time. And if if someone is offending me uh, and instead of saying that ah this guy always does like that instead of saying those kind of words negative words how me personally how do i respond to that i speak over them this person is an amazing person even though he's not an amazing person for say right now with me he doesn't have a good relationship with me right now i speak over the situation by faith I see what's going to happen. I speak over that situation. I speak over that person saying that he is a loving person. He is a kind person. To the one who is unkind to me, I speak over that person. He is amazing. You are a kind person. You are lo- you are full of love and full of grace. And as I speak that those words it creates that qualities that characteristic in his life because just like god who created the heaven and earth by speaking he has also created us in his likeness so we also have the power of creating things to making things happen when we speak in faith and when we give grace and mercy to to the person who is offending to us so here i want to encourage you to be like jesus full of grace and full of truth and you can be like him you are like him in fact it's just that you don't know it you don't know it and how can you know it how can you know that you are like jesus yeah by reading the word of god in the book of john in the letter of john he says that just as jesus who is in the father's right hand so are we in this world 
exactly like Jesus, we are here. So we are, we are a perfect image of who Jesus is. So you have the opportunity to change the situation, the person who is offending you every time. You have the opportunity to heal the person who is sick. You have the opportunity to release heaven on earth. And that can only be happen when you when you believe and you, and when you believe that you are like Jesus even when you are struggling with your sinful behavior even when you are falling you need to know that the fact that you you have given your life to Jesus it doesn't change even though I fall in sin right now my identity that I am in Jesus it doesn't change because God has chose me and he can't unchoose me again if that's the right word <laughs> right so because God has called me he can't uncall me again just because I have fallen short of, of certain things because of my sin and all those things so once I'm saved I'll be forever saved once I am the child of God I'm forever the child of God so even when you are falling down, even when you, when, you, when you lose your temper, even when you fall down in your sinful habits, I want you to believe that you are still like Jesus. You need to believe that. And as you believe that, your life is going to be changed. Your habit is going to be changed. God doesn't look at how your performance like how your life is transforming he he is very much interested in your heart transformation if your heart is transformed your behavior is the byproduct of the transformation that has happened already inside you the kingdom is all about inside out so once you believe in the inside of who you are who you are in God it will perfectly be revealed even in the outside it's going to be manifested so I want you to believe that truth that you are like Jesus that's why God says you are my beloved child in whom I'm well pleased thank you so much for listening to this entire message I believe that you are blessed just share this message to everyone let the world know that they are loved by him amen